It's a beautiful sunny day here in Bristol and I'm currently in Millennium Square just in front of At Bristol which is right behind me, the Science Centre here in Bristol. We're currently beginning the March for Science which has just set off. We've had some amazing speakers this morning, the likes of Chris Packham, Susie Gage, Dr Bruce Hood which have all been amazing. March has just begun so there's been some crowds of people heading off in that direction. They're going to head up Park Street in a moment and I'm going to follow them with my camera and hopefully film some of the action for you. It's great to be in Bristol. It's always been a centre of scientific excellence. It's a previous green capital, as you know. There are academic institutions here, the universities, which are fantastic. It's a hub, the world-famous hub for wildlife filmmaking. The idea, of course, is to bring people of all ages and sexes, races and creeds together to stand up for what we believe in. So thank you very much for coming. I'm a scientist, I work at Bristol University uh, as a health psychologist. I think um, we have not had enough experts to um, march ahead politically and make decisions for the world and the country without drawing on expertise. Thank you, Chris. March for Science Bristol, what a great sight. Um, the fact that you're all here means that I don't really need to convince you that science is possibly, probably, definitely the greatest human endeavour that we've come up with. It's exciting, it's useful, it's progressive, it's important. To science is to make observations, it's to ask good questions. It's to test those questions out, it's to refine the questions, it's to be open to peers reviewing your work and making suggestions. It's about careful design of experiments so that they can repeat it over and over again, not just by you but by someone else, somewhere else in the world. It's about being okay about exploring in a space of uncertainty and inhabiting the edge of knowledge, being in the unknown. It's about pr building on a proven body of knowledge based on evidence, not opinion. We have to be constantly critical of our methods to make sure that we are beyond reproach, beyond criticism, and that we can always stand with a firm foundation of truth behind us. Science isn't just facts. It's not simple, it's not easy. It's not just a subject you learn at school where you have to memorize the periodic table or learn equations. At its heart, science is a method for critically appraising the world. Ultimately, what scientists do is come up with a theory about how they think the world works, or their particular little part of it anyway and then spend their careers trying to prove themselves wrong, looking for evidence that disagrees with what they think. And this constant questioning the information that you're presented with, this critical thinking has never been more important. We currently have people in positions of extreme power who think alternative facts are legitimate, who state that they've had enough of experts, and who will write lies on the side of a bus to get votes. I'm really excited about the vibe from today's march and how many people showed up and what was said. Um, because I think we're at this really important point in society where we need to make a noise about why science is important and why the scientific method is this thing that we've built up in humanity that kind of gets us closer to truth and gets us connecting and gets us developing stuff. And the fact that we're all here and making a noise about it is brilliant. And the fact that we were able to support the marches at Bristol I think is really important because science centres sometimes can tend to just kind of do their thing and not connect with the social stuff that's going on out there in culture. And so I think we need to be all about throwing the doors open and connecting with what's out there, having a role in society, having a responsibility as a big city centre organisation. Like, what can we do? What are we for? More than just, you know, science is fun. There's some, there's some important stuff to be getting done. So I'm delighted that we were able to be part of it and I hope that the conversation will keep going now. We need to start not talking to ourselves and we need to be visible and noisy, which is what a march is about. But somehow we need to do this out there in spaces and places and with people that might not otherwise be getting involved in this kind of thing. I think that's where we need to go next. <laughs>